wanna get high. You wanna? <laughs> I wanna get high too. Right now? Yeah. I want to show you guys the town, the city, the vibes, and the people. So I'm just gonna walk around. We are in uh, Montezuma. Yes. Je m'appelle Madame. Madame. Means in Espanol, arte sano. Sano means. Costa Rica Costa Rica pura vida Vibes on a journey. Pura vida, right? Costa Rica and Costa Rica to the world. Pura vida. Buenos dias, world. Welcome to another special video of Henny's World. I'm currently in Montezuma, Costa Rica. And I've been here for about two days exploring this beautiful part of Costa Rica. So Montezuma is like a small, is a, is a very small beach town. Hola hermanos. Good, my brothers. How have you been? I've been pretty good. Great. You got it, man. Just, you have a good time in the town? Beautiful. Yeah. I could tell you, I'll say to you guys too, you know, this town is a very, it's a small town, um, beach town. Everybody here kind of knows each other and it's, it's a connected community. It's a nice vibe. It's supposed to be so-called the hippie town where people just have fun and they, you know, they're more in peace as well. You know, it's, it's very nice in nature and the beach and I love it, my brother. It's very yeah, nice. Very good. Can I, huh? You want to get high? You want <laughs> I want to get high too. Right now? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm joking. I'm I joking. know, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I love it, brother. <laughs> Como te llamo? Mauricio. Nice to meet you, Mauricio. All right. Hi. Florencio. 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 The name Flore is Florencio. Florencio is your name? No. My name is Mauricio. Mauricio. Your name? Me? Henny. Henny. Yeah. So where are you from? Uh, Canada. Oh, Canada? Yes. Yeah. Where in Canada? Toronto. Toronto? Yeah. Ah, man. I know Canada. I have passed two times, a couple times over there. In Montreal and Quebec. Too. Montreal. Quebec? Yeah, man. for three months. That's amazing. So the high season here is in November? Yeah, starting in November. A lot of people come. A lot of people come. And to... Uh, and to April and March. April and in May. In May, the, the, the rainy season is coming. So, so it's coming low a little bit. But so for like about five or six months, a lot of people live here and more, they come. More, more than that. Yeah. In June and July, we have a... Uh, in, 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 in June and in, in July we have many, many tours from, from Europa. Europe. Yeah, in July. And then uh, September, October is very low season. Yeah. But it's very quiet. This peninsula about a See. You know, you, know what, you know what brought me to Costa Rica? One of the main things? Uh, I found out I found out Costa Rica is the most it, Costa Rica in the year 2020 is one of the top places to travel to in the world oh, right. people from all over the world is coming here so oh, I kind oh, of oh, yeah. so I really do feel with confidence that after this yeah. situation is over yeah, yeah. and borders are open people will a lot of people will be coming back here amazing muchas gracias señor. Pura vida. guys so this video I'm going to be walking down the street just going to show you guys a real authentic vibe of Montezuma um, it's not a best restaurant or nothing. It's a small town. Montezuma is a small beach town community. You have beaches right on the coast of the town. And as well, there's waterfalls, just 10 minutes of a walk. So if I had to tell you guys the main attractions here in Montezuma, beaches, 
waterfalls and the vibe of the town it's an energy here a lot of beautiful peaceful people great vibes and there's some fun things to do here a lot of the tourists actually come here and Montezuma's right beside of some of the main ports like Santa Teresa, it's close to Liberia. So a lot of the people here in the Guanacaste region, in the Punta Arenas region, they like to come here, take a nice little break and enjoy the vibes here. So anyways, I wanna show you guys the town, the city, the vibes and the people. So I'm just gonna walk around and it's straight, just a vibe today. It's a straight raw edition of videos. And I'm here with my brothers. Huh? I want you guys to see what's up to the world. Yes. yes, Montezuma hey. Vibrations, hermano. Right. <laughs> Como te llamo? Flavio, Flavio. Flavio, Kevin, and Lucas. Kevin O! What's up? What's going on? You got me in the back right there, just say Bye. vibes. And me, hermano, I call him Saba Lion, El Salvador OG. But Avira, what's going on, my brother? Yeah, listen, I'm gonna start to make a bracelet, but. Artistic. Yeah, so Let me just show you guys some yeah. of this art right so here. Good, Look at that. Look at his art. Fantastic. Everything that you guys see right now was handcrafted and made by the awesome Savalayan. Look at it, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you guys are in Montezuma and you guys come by and you see me, Hermano, let me show you guys his face. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. If you see this face, this is a great man. Okay? Yeah. I want you guys, first yeah. of all, a yeah, very good way. person. Huh? And what I do see this, um, this my name is Fermin or my nickname Paluca. Paluca. Yeah, this is a B boy and representing the hip hop culture. And I made a little big box too with an artisan. So yeah. I represent Central America and the hip hop culture, man. Thank yeah. you, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this I made a little bit big box with Joanna. and this I show you a little bit too, you know? Yeah. Jeez! Yeah, this a little big box. You know? A little vibe right there, you guys. He just wanted to show you guys a little vibe. So one thing about him, he's not ill. Yeah, and he got the Argentina. Oh, gee. Let's go. The best empanadas in all of Montezuma. Hey, I tell you guys this. Right first. Yeah, I know, I know, but I know it. <laughs> so these guys are the awesome dudes. When you guys see these faces, this face, this face, and this face. Call the police. In this space, <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> just go, go and just say what's up. I can 100% agree to that. So my awesome friend, what's your name to the world? Yeah, this is uh, Fermin, Fermin, but this is my nickname, this is Paluca. Paluca. This is, this is a B-Boy Paluca around the B -boy world. B-Boy right? Paluca. And you got my brother George, uh, George of Montezuma. Hey, let's go. But yeah, man, I wanted to see. He's a beatboxer as well as a break dancer. He performs sometimes here beat, uh, break dancing in Montezuma streets, but he's an international break dancer. He does contests and stuff, so it's really dope. He actually showed me some of his work. So, and he's an artist. Everything that you see here are all handcrafted by him. As you see right here, look what he's doing. Yeah, this one. Look at this. That. Uh, this side is a and necklace, but this is a joker, I think, in English. Yeah, a joker. Muy bueno. Look at that. And from straight natural stuff, crystals from the earth. Yeah, the crystal, big pieces, you know, but it's sometimes here I work on the street and nice. it's uh, difficult for the lawyer here yeah. because the municipal police is don't like they make it work hard. on the street. Yes, but I don't exhibition everything, every pieces because yeah. I exhibition the big pieces. It's uh, uh -oh. so oh, fucking oh. expensive. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I'm holding it. I almost dropped this. So, you know, these guys make a living off of these arts that they create. Just so you guys understand, you know, and this is one thing I, I started now understanding more and I want to support. This is their, this is their art, their creative skills, and they want to share it to the world. And as well, they want to, you know, it's a business for them as well. You know, it, it motivates travelers to enjoy the art here. And we like it. Like, I got something actually, a piece right here. Look at my piece. From... Hermano right here, from the OG. It's a good vibe, you guys. Hey. Yo! From me, Hermano. Look at 
Dos empanadas. Empanadas, you guys. From Argentina, I'm in Costa Rica. The best of the best. <laughs> when you guys walk down the street and you see my brother George, you better get some empanadas. <laughs> yeah? Jeez. This is amazing, hermano. You guys will always get good food. He makes quality empanadas, and it's always for a good cost for everybody in the community, which is really nice, you guys. Let's go walk around and see the more of the vibe. My brothers, I'm gonna come back. Yeah, of course. Hey. Of course. Yeah, Saya in a, in a wild crocodile. Yeah. Let's go. Catch more of a vibe in the streets. Guys, awesome people. Those guys are my brothers, man. I've got, in the time that I've been here, I've, they showed me nothing but really amazing hospitality. I really like that, you know? Just walk down the street, see the vibe. Quad bikes are a big thing here in this part of Costa Rica. Um, I think because the roads are not as um, crafted well, so they use the quads. Is it? My brother! Brother. Yes, I bless so I always my sire. I want you to say something to the world right now, my brother. Know, this right here is a blessed man, a spiritual man. I know, man. God bless. How's everything? Doing well, bro. Let me give you props. Living day by day. Thanks for life. Yes, I. Could I ask you a question, my brother? Tell me about life in Montezuma. Well, we're blessed here, bro. Yes. spot. Healthy life and uh, fresh air all the time. Yes. A lot of oxygen. Yes. A lot of oxygen for the body, oxygen for the brain. A lot of oxygen. Yes. Feeding one within and without. Yes. It's beautiful, my friend. Friendly people. You guys. This is this is the vibe you're gonna see when you come to Montezuma. Come to Montezuma, mis amigos. Yes. Aquí estamos, pura vida. Mucho perfecto, hermano. Positive vibrations all the time. Always. Hermano, if, the, if anybody came to Montezuma, what do they expect to see? First, nature. Green, green trees the whole year. Yeah. People cheering. Artisans, because mm. Montezuma without artisans yeah. is not Montezuma. Artisans is what made the magic here with their hands. Yeah. Our hands. Yeah. So we are our own boss. Yeah. That's why we love to people come here to appreciate our jobs, our work. For example, my amigo here, uh, Feder Federico. Federico, what type of arts do you create? Here in Montezuma. Ah, eh, macrame, eh, different work in metals, eh, I don't know, leather, all the material I find in the travel. In your travels that you use. Mm -hmm. And which is really nice is that every artist that you see on the street has a different form of art that they create. Exactly. So it's always different. Like, look at this, everything that you see here was made by Frederico. Look at that. Beautiful. And you made everything here. Yeah, it's possible. You see all the world have uh, your personality. Yes. Different. And you guys can come and choose anything that you think uh -huh. is, matches you. Look at all these lovely colors. Madame. Hey, Madame. Madame, Madame. Madame. Hola, baby. Hey. Je m'appelle Madame. Madame. Bonjour. Bueno. You got it, you got it. So artisan. I want, uh, what is the word that, what does that mean, artisan? Means in Espanol, arte sano. Arte sano. Sano means healthy. Arte sano. Arte sano. Like art a... and sano means healthy. Healthy art. Yes. That makes them live. Montezuma is big on art. That's one thing you guys will know. And he says, without the art, there is no Montezuma. Only artesano. Muy bueno. Okay, hermano. I'm going to see you soon, okay? All right, buddy. Good one to love. talk to you, man. Me too, my brother. And the what do you best. want to say to the world? One thing. I say to the world, always be happy. Don't worry. Everything is going to be all right. Blessings. Later, Federico. See you, brother. See you, my brother. Got the vibes, see more art. Beautiful shots. The vibes. Hola, you guys. Buenos, buenos. Hermano. Hola, hola. What's going on? Blessed. And another beautiful form of art you see right here.
It's a Rica handcraft. Yes. He said it's not Brazilian style. This is your own. Fantastic. What does Montezuma mean for you? Montezuma, my second home in my life. Yes. Where, where are you from originally? I'm from Heredia, it's north of San Jose. Yeah, Heredia. 12 kilometers. Yeah. Bueno. What brought you here? Uh, this and the music. I'm a percussionist too, so I was here for maybe one week and I thought that I can't live here forever. <laughs> what made you stay? What? When you came here for that one week, it made you stay, right? Yeah. What made you stay? Like, say, oh, uh, so, uh, I don't know. This is special energy here. Yeah. That some a lot of people felt it, you know, here. So, and I heard that there's some kind of places that they're like vortex, they like catch you. you know? yeah. And you feel like at home, you know. And this is the place. Amazing. Yeah. Welcome. Well, you guys. Uh, good place to raise children, you know, the children are so happy here, the dogs of the street are so happy. Everybody, everybody yeah. and everybody knows each other, it's like good vibe and energy. You wake up, you're outside in the beautiful sun, in the tropical, and you see artists all over. In all this situation, the people that, uh, that have more, they help us, you know, with food and everything. Yes. Because we depend on the tourists, but if there are no tourists, then there's no exactly. money. Exactly. So Montezuma is a big tourist city, you guys, just so you guys understand. I'm sweaty. It's hot. So you're going to just enjoy the sweaty face that I have. Montezuma is a, a big on tourists. And, you know, the tourists come here and they enjoy themselves. They have a great time here. And most of the income that happens in this town is by tourists, you know, from supporting the arts that they create, the music that they do, the energy that they bring out here. So right now it's kind of taking an impact on the people, but... Everybody takes care of each other as a community, which is what he just said, my brother. And what's your name to the world? Chisco. Chisco. This, uh, huh? this is music from Dominican Republic. Music from Dominicano? Yeah. Bueno, Dominicano, que lo que. Uh, <laughs> bueno, hermano, mucho gracias. Oh, yeah. One love, okay? You already know. Let's continue going on the journey, guys. Diaz. Can I, I want to put you, what do you want to say to the world right now? Hola. To the world, you're alive. I'm alive. Oh, cheers. Hey, cheers. <laughs> she's another she's another lovely artist and she has all this beautiful art here for you ladies as you guys can see so the whole street is full of artists musicians creative arts design and zoom yes when you see these faces you guys know so we're gonna keep on walking I'll see you okay Keep on walking. Yeah! It's a nice hot day. So this is a, a big, big, big thing in Montezuma. You guys just want to walk through and show you guys straight vibes in this video. In this video, it's just straight up. Me walking through, me showing you guys everything. The people that I've connected with and the vibes of the area. Look at this, Montezuma Beach. The nature here is wild. People from other cities and other towns they come here to spend a few days or a week at least in Montezuma because you know what they want to come and soak up the beach and the waterfalls look at this beach it's called the Montezuma beach Montezuma beach pretty humongous pretty beautiful pretty amazing look at that Woo! come here you want to stay here for a few days just because of that so people from Santa Teresa Guanacaste Guanacaste is the northwest region and we're basically Montezuma is in the northwest region so people like to come here and take a little take a few days of just enjoying it you know look at it muy lindo muy lindo muy lindo hey guys so yeah that's really the vibe you know like Really, I tell you guys, this is really it. You got the beach, you got the waterfalls, you got the good vibes, you got a lot of artists in this part. And that's really it, it's really just that type of energy, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Small town, but a good vibe. You guys seen the energy of the people. When you guys come out here, it's gonna be a good little vibe, you know? Come enjoy the beach, get in that waterfall, get in that energy, you know what I'm saying? A lot of artists, you guys, great people, community-based definitely a beautiful place remember to support my videos subscribe
stay connected. Videos every week as I show you guys real people, real perception, this real world. Yes, hermano. You got it, my brother. Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Mexico, man. I'm an actor. Mexico. Real actor. Yes, me Mexico. Compadre. Ah, ah, huevo. Huevo. Yes, hermano. You already know, compadre. Bien. And he has some awesome art. Oh, my brother, my compadre, Mexican. And me. Mexican inspired, Aztec inspired, you guys. One lovely brother. Okay. Woo! Mi hermanos. I want your video. For the family and friends and everything. For the world. Yes, world. Remember this awesome face right here, my brother. Last night, we went to a place called Organico, me and him. To, it's like a fun little place, Organico. A great place to enjoy yourself. Good music, live music, and great place, great people. We went last night, and me and Mono right here was performing. I wish I could show you guys, it was amazing. Great music, great vibes. You gotta come and check out my brother, look at that. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna end the video with you guys. What do you wanna say to the world? About Montezuma, about you guys, everything. Respect. Respect. People, high people around the world, you know? Hey guys, okay. hi. I'm from Peru. From Peru. Peru. Yeah, you see, and you have awesome travelers, other Latin American travelers here in Costa Rica. Hi to the Peruvian guys too, you know? People from Peru, he says hello. Hello, yeah. What do you want to say in a Peruvian word to everybody? Uh, I miss Peru and uh, I'll be there soon. Yeah? yeah. After what 20 it? years. I, I didn't go to Peru for 20 years. 20 years? I, I back, you know, so. What was the story? Why did you not? Lazy guy, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Maybe anytime I have a chance, I find He'll go. Peru, yeah. 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 So, you know, he came, he had a flight to go to Peru, and he came to Costa Rica as an uh, intermediate flight, and he loved it here. He just stayed. It was that's, that's his story of why he stayed in Costa Rica. Yeah. For any, uh, uh, any airlines, you know, they give, they give me the opportunity. And then you said, I'm going. Yeah, give me a ticket, free yeah. ticket. And that's it, you guys know it, right? That's it. And my brother Sabalayan, the artist, the beatboxer, the breakdancer, the vibes, representing hip hop culture and Latin people. The lion, show him the lion, brother. And Jar, see you, I think, in the Europe again, and O'Break, and yeah. Leva Breaking Time before. Yeah, he's a traveler as well. To, I need to work, and I bring the morning. And Amazing. The virus finally with the continuous my trip. Yeah, my heart. Amazing. My Amazing. Amazing. Nothing but love. When you guys come to Costa Rica and you see them, stay connected. One love, my brothers. Cheers.